This is um, Twin Talks 3, Understanding and Facilitating Collaboration in DH. My name is uh, Stephen Krauer and I'm working for Clarin. My co-organizer is Daria Fischer. She's also working for Clarin. And we are presenting this workshop and organizing it on behalf of Claire and Eric, Daria, Eric and Shock. And we will explain what exactly they are for those who don't know it in a few minutes. And uh, this uh, workshop is called Twin Talks 3. That suggests that there have been other Twin Talks events in the past. And we had one in uh, Copenhagen, the first one. We had the Twin Talks panel in Liege. And uh, we had the Twin Talks 2 in Riga at DHN 2020. But uh, it should have taken place in March in Riga, but it has been postponed until October. And we still don't know whether it will be physical or virtual. Um, the main objective of all the, uh, these workshops is to get a better understanding of the collaboration between the humanities and the digital experts when they are solving humanities research problems. And we also want to understand the obstacles they encounter when they're trying to collaborate. What we want to get out of this is recommendations for those involved in the education of humanities scholars or humanities professionals and technical experts to develop better training programs for, in order to facilitate collaboration. And we also want to identify in these discussion initiatives that Claire and Eric, Daria Eric and Chuck could take in order to support this. So it's a bit for the community, but also a bit for ourselves to see what opportunities we have to, to uh, support collaboration in the digital in the humanities. Now, first about Clarion. Clarion is the, the, it stands for Common Language Resources and Technology Infrastructure. It has a special European uh, ERIC status. It's a legal entity, it's not a project. And the aim is, as you can see, to provide easy and sustainable access for scholars in humanities and social sciences and beyond. And uh, access to digital data in whatever uh, uh, form uh, you can think of, written, spoken video, multimodal, and access to advanced tools in order to work with these materials. And how do we do, the, do that? Well, by offering a single sign-on environment that serves as an ecosystem for knowledge sharing. Now, what else do we have? Um, Claren is uh, very strongly committed to open science. We are, uh, because we created ourselves for the sharing of reuse of reuse of data through sustainable data registries and we uh, want to have open access we are not constrained to just a few languages a few important languages or just european languages we uh, support linguistic diversity so in our collections we cover at this moment more than 1500 different languages which is still only a quarter of all languages so we're still not there yet we offer tools for many languages and we offer language resources in all modalities I just mentioned. We uh, very strongly adhere to the FAIR data uh, principles, which, is, which means that data have to be findable, accessible, interoperable, reusable, and we want to promote responsible data science. Now, because data science has also, can have very um, important positive and negative uh, societal impacts. Now, we um, have a special interest in specific data types because we, we promote them because we feel that they are very, they lend themselves very well for um, uh, cross language and also cross discipline research. Uh, here we mention some examples like newspapers, uh, social media, parliamentary records, oral history, etc. etc. You can find the whole list on the Clarion website. And we offer services around all these data. Um, we, we have a clearing portal, of course, and we offer depositing services where you can make sure that your data is, can be deposited, not just for uh, until the end of your PC or your, the end of your project, but uh, far beyond. We offer a virtual language observatory, what, which is the place where you, the catalog where you can find everything we have. Easy access to protected resources, both uh, in your own country and uh, cross-border. We have a language resources switchboard where you can interconnect data collections and um, the, the tools together that are uh, the, uh, items that are maybe sitting in different places. So my data can work with your tools and your neighbors' uh, uh, other data. We offer virtual collections where you can create collections without having them on your own computer, but you create descriptions of collections, the ones that you've used for your own research, so that you can share these descriptions with your colleagues so that they could 
uh, replicate your your uh, research or do other things that with them that you, they would like to do. We have a language resource inventory inventory where you can submit and, uh, and access information about all sorts of language resources, and we have content search across uh, many data repositories where you do not just search the metadata but where you can really look into the data and we have um, facilities to uh, uh, respond to questions and give answers this claim then we have our sister infrastructure daria eu which stands for digital research infrastructure for the arts and humanities it's a pan-european digital research infrastructure that enhances and supports digitally enabled research and teaching across the arts of human and humanities it was launched in added to the S3 roadmap in 2006 and since ever since 2014 it, it exists as a um, European research infrastructure consortium just like uh, Clarion another um, the, uh, legal entity so Daya's mission is to empower research communities with digital methods to create connect and share knowledge about culture and society and what they offer is many things, including a marketplace for reusable tools, services, data, knowledge, education, training, transnational and transdisciplinary working groups, and policy and foresight. Shock is a project, it's not a legal entity. It's a big project with 45 partners, including uh, uh, Clarin and Daria, so they are there, but there are many more. And um, it's, uh, as you see, it's uh, 40 months, uh, almost 50 million uh, uh, euros budget, so it's, uh, it's huge. The objectives are to create the social sciences and humanities part of the European Open Science Cloud. And uh, they want to maximize reuse through open science and, uh, science and fair principles, all the, the data and the uh, and knowledge and uh, tools, interconnecting existing and new infrastructures. So they are sort of umbrella project over infrastructures and they want to establish an appropriate governance model for the SSH EOSC. And well, the exact expected impact is social science humanities seamlessly integrated in European science cloud, availability of EU wide, easy to use SSH open marketplace where tools and data are openly accessible, EU wide availability of high quality cloud ready SSH tools and high quality SSH data, EU-wide availability of trusted and secure access mechanisms to for SSH data conforming to EU legal requirements, state-of-the-art research infrastructure in several pilot domains advanced through the dedicated SSH data pilot cluster project, maximizing reuse through open science and fair principles. Now, as you see, uh, these three uh, entities, uh, both Claren and Daria and um, Shock, have very much in common. They have they're all about sharing data and the differences are small in that, uh, for example, Clarion is focusing on language because that's uh, the, our, the center of our interest, whereas Daria is much broader and is less fo strongly focused on a specific uh, domain. And Shock is again an umbrella project of many things. So these are the, let's say, this is the source of the, this, uh, the series of uh, workshops. Uh, this the, the, the wish to uh, advance sharing of data with the whole community. Mm -hmm.